Parks. The attorney for one of four Honolulu police officers accused of forcing a homeless man to put his mouth on a public urinal says her client is being treated unfairly. Bridget Namata spoke with attorney Megan Cowell today and she says her client is being left in the dark. It's been a tense two weeks for the four police officers now under investigation by the FBI. They're feeling that they've been treated unfairly. What happened was they were served with ROPA papers, which is restriction of police authority, but not given any reason as to why they were being ropa Days after HPD started looking into what police chief Susan Ballard called rumors that officers made a man lick a public urinal, Ballard turned the information over to the feds. It's not illegal. She's allowed to do it but it's inappropriate. Police officers get accused of things all the time, you know. Attorney Megan Cow, who has represented several HPD officers in the past, says officers accused of misconduct typically go through a thorough internal investigation first. Then, if need be, it's turned over to the FBI. While I do believe that the public has a right to know what's going on with the police department, this is a mere accusation. They haven't been found guilty. They haven't been administratively punished. And so by announcing it, you know, Chief Ballard jumped the gun. It's, I've never seen it done like that before. The chief said the rumors were appalling and violate the core values of HPD. The officers are at risk of losing their jobs, but Cow says her client does not know the specific allegations he's facing. She says the officer she's representing was never interviewed by the police department's internal investigators and still hasn't been interviewed by the feds. It's completely unfair. I mean, no one wants to be accused of something without being given any detail. To be accused of something and then not be given the details is it's infuriating. Bridget Namata, KHON 2 News.